Frost Cool's Revenge is coming into Adopt Me this Friday. Here's everything you need to know about getting the new items for it. Is Adopt Me going and adding a brand new Christmas future egg like they did last year? I've got all of the new secret information that you need to know. Starting off with the update. This is coming out on Friday's update inside of Adopt Me. At the same time, we are going and getting four brand new Christmas pets, which I've already gone and made a separate video about. The Ice Cube pets, which all look very, very exciting. But what is Frostclaw's Revenge and how does this go and work? Well, it's a brand new minigame based on the original Frostclaw's Fury, but it got an upgrade. And there's actually a secret inside of the Christmas Village, which I think you guys are going to find very interesting because I've got this tool that allows me to go and fly and explore around the map. If I go underneath the map, you will actually find that Frostclaw's head is right here. It kind of looks like an egg, and I've heard people online saying that they think the back of Frostclaw's head looks like a brand new egg that we might be going and getting it by completing the Frostclaw minigame. Stick around till the end of this video if you want more proof about are we getting a brand new egg. So how does this work? You go into an area where you will go and get on a sleigh. Apparently they've replaced the sleigh this year because it would kind of lag the game and it just wouldn't really work. Adobe said that you can go and join two friends to keep Santa safe, as well as a mini game exclusive Ice Stag Alley to help you cut and slash your way through the enemies. You can start a lobby for free at any time or play solo, invite two other players with difficulty scaling to match your players numbers. So that means if you're playing it on your own, it's going to be a lot easier than going and playing it with two or three people, as then there's going to be like more enemies, it's going to be increased scaled, and uh, it will definitely be a harder challenge. So previously, you could have like eight or 16 people play in the minigame. So it's definitely changed in terms of the limit but they said you can get joined by up to two friends. So you can invite two friends to go and join you in this, but I guess you can't have any more than two, which is interesting. Now, in case a bunch of you are intrigued, what in the world is an ice stag alley? Well, it's a brand new pet that goes and helps you to beat the minigame called the Ice Stag. Alley means that it's like an ally that it would help you go and battle the enemies. And I have a very big assumption that the Ice Stag is going to be a legendary pet that will be able to go and adopt with gingerbread later down the line, probably week three or week four, they typically go and add a legendary. And we haven't got a legendary that we can purchase with gingerbread yet. And of course they're planning on going and adding one. Let me go and show you what the ice stag even looks like. This is a video of the ice stag going and attacking enemies. As you can see, it's going up to the evil snowmen and attacking them. And it's got these big horns and it does a lot of damage. So Adobe hasn't yet confirmed that this is going to be an adoptable pet, but based off of previous years, it's, it's very likely this is gonna be a pet. As you can see, the Santa sleigh actually has a health bar, which is interesting. I guess your goal is to go and protect Santa's sleigh from going and getting attacked, but this is a pretty cool looking pet. There we go, this is the best image you will probably get of one. People are saying that this looks like it's a combination of a Fleur de Ice and a Missile Troll. And you know what? I definitely see it. It's pretty much a combination of those two exact things. They've just like put them together and now you have the Ice Stag. It definitely does look like this would be an Ultra Rare or a Legendary pet, but I guess we're gonna have to find out at a later point if this is going to be adoptable. In the previous Frost Claws Fury minigame, there was an option to go and buy a consumable which was uh, called Snowballs. Okay, so you could buy them with Robux, which would basically allow you to get an upgraded sword. Well, this year, they're going and changing how that system works. You can go and buy a brand new item called the Ice Saber. It will cost you 95 Robux, and it's a sword that looks like this. No one has shared the image of the sword, but there you go, this is what it looks like. So basically what this thing does, it's called the Ice Saber. It looks like a sword and it goes as your toys. It actually, the handle kind of looks like a carrot. You know, that that actually is a carrot, right? Did, did a dummy just stick an icicle on a carrot and say, hey, that's a sword. So the ice saber is a sword that will go in your backpack with the rest of your toys. So you can go and like use it when you're just regularly playing Adopt Me and you pull up your toys. A little sword will just be in this backpack. In fact, I probably already have a sword. So if we just search the word sword, yeah, there's already a couple swords. So this new sword is going to appear in your backpack and you can go and swing it as a toy. They don't really 
do anything. I mean, the flame sword, I'm pretty sure that came out maybe in the last Christmas, or maybe the wooden sword was the one. It just doesn't do anything. It's just for, just for fun toy. But this is the first time we're going getting a usable toy that when you're inside of the mini game, it will give you a boost to help defend Santa from Frostclaw's army. So what that means is by going and using this upgraded sword, it's going to go and do more damage than a regular wooden sword does. So it gives you a boost to doing damage. It's kind of like a game pass, but instead of being a game pass, it goes and gives you a toy. And this toy was confirmed to be tradable. I spoke to Adopt Me and they confirmed that you can go and trade this toy. So I can buy like 20 of them and end up going and trading them or giving them away to my subscribers. If you're subscribed, make sure you let me know in the comment section. So now is the news that you've all been waiting for, okay? So, you know, last year we got the Christmas future egg, the egg that everyone was like going crazy over trying to get. It was very difficult to get, and uh, it was one of the main reasons that players would go and do Frostclaw's Fury was to go and get a Christmas future egg. Well, unfortunately, Adopt Me has confirmed that there is no egg by participating in this minigame. The only purpose of doing the minigame is fun and will be the best way ever to go and generate gingerbread. That's right, this is going to be the most statistically best way to go and earn gingerbread inside of Adopt Me, which is great actually. So if you need a ton of gingerbread to save up for the new uh, ice cube pets or to go and buy a missile troll, then this is gonna be the mini game for you, okay? So unfortunately, yeah, there's no Christmas future egg. But anyway, guys, you all hated it last year. So if anyone's to blame, it's that it's everyone who said that the pet out of the Christmas future egg was ugly. I slightly had hopes that we were gonna go and get um, an egg from the mini game that would include like Frostclaw as a pet or something. But maybe next Christmas, I guess there's a, an option that they might bring it out then. But definitely we did not go and get it for now. But I'm hoping one day Frostclaw will be an adoptable pet. As for other things, there's probably going to be some other toys, vehicles and stuff that will be put on sale this Friday. And obviously there is the four brand new pets that are coming out. So to go and actually get to this area, you have to go through one of these coming soon sections. There is a big Christmas castle here. You know what, let's uh, be sneaky and actually check this out. Is there any other secrets? I, I don't think so. I mean, it's very strange that Frostclaw's head is actually hidden underneath the map. I'm not sure if that was accidental. And um, to everyone asking, why is Frostclaw's head here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think this has anything to do with an egg. As I spoke to Adopt Me after someone sent a picture online showing this. And they're like, oh, it's the new Frostclaw's egg. Unfortunately, it's not. This is just Frostclaw's head. It's not an egg, and it will not give us any pet. That's officially confirmed by, I think, Jesse from Adopt Me said that there is no egg from this. He did say, however, that going and playing this minigame is going to be the best way to grind out gingerbread. And it's going to be pretty crazy if you get good at the game. Then he said you could just consistently go and repeatedly do it because the best part is there's no cooldown you know like you don't have to wait 20 minutes or 15 minutes like you do for the melt off to go and play it like this is three minutes well for the frost claws revenge you can just play it the exact second that you end the mini game plus you can go and join your friends and uh, if you don't have friends then you can just go and join public people or invite other people that are in your server as for the amount of gingerbread you can get from it, that's again not officially announced. I guess we'll find out when it goes and updates. And I will probably be going and live streaming the update, trying to go and beat Frostclaw myself on a live stream. I think that'll be a very fun little bonus. Also, what is this ice digging thing? I don't know. So many people are asking what this is and that I'm pretty sure this is just the spleef minigame area, okay? Because, you know, spleef, you drop down and go through all these floors. I'm pretty sure that's what this section is for anyone who's like, oh, why is there, like, all this mining stuff? It's because of spleef. That is the minigame, okay? But you should click here to go and find out all of the new Christmas pets 
there is four new pets and they are ice cubes and i think you're going to find this video very cool so click here to go and watch this adult meme video next i dare you to click here to go and watch